Gerardo Marquez was a state champion basketball coach at Fox Tech High School. Marquez is a product of San Antonio ISD. He graduated from Burbank High School in 1975. He worked 15 years as a teacher and coach for SAISD. The pinnacle of his coaching career came in 1997 when he led the Fox Tech Buffaloes to the Class 4A Boys Basketball State Championship. In high school, Marquez was a star basketball player at Burbank. At six feet and two inches tall, he was known as a crafty shooting guard. He was a three-year varsity letterman who was named team captain in his senior year and helped the Bulldogs win the district championship in 1975. Marquez played for a star-studded Burbank team that included the likes of center Gilbert Salinas, who at six feet, 11 inches tall, went on to play college basketball at the University of Notre Dame. Marquez played four years of college basketball at Trinity University. In 1981, he began his coaching career in SAISD. He became the head basketball coach at Fox Tech in 1995. In only his second season as head coach, he led the Buffaloes to the school's first and only state basketball championship. David will launch a three. We have something special here, and I knew we had something special because we had our guards and we had some big people too. Well, as the next year started, 96, 97 year, the kids came hungry, and we had no idea you're going to win a state championship. I mean, who knows you're going to win a state championship, but they knew they were good, and they had had a good summer. So we got after it, got after it every day, got after it, and things were falling in place. You know, all our whole preseason was against 5A schools. We were a 4A school at the time, and we were beating really good teams in the city. We won the SAISD tournament, which had the best teams in the city at that time. So we kind of were like, wow. Then district started, and we're in a tough district with Sam Houston, which was loaded. Every year they're loaded. And Alamo Heights, which was a proven uh, winner year in, year out. And things started falling in place. Before we know it, we're district champs. Uh, then we're uh, winning the uh, area game, going to regional championship. And lo and behold, we play Alamo Heights again for the fourth time for the regional championship. And we got lucky, we beat them. And then it was off to state. Uh, at state, there's only four teams left, and we had an awesome record. I think it was 36 and three, and they kind of seat you with uh, the record you bring in. So we had the best record, and we ended up playing Sweetwater from the Penhandle, and we were able to handle uh, that game. And the championship game was going to be against the winner of Houston Wheatley and Dallas Lincoln. When we watched that game, because we played first, they played second, we are like, holy moly, that's a different ball game. Uh, they had 15 deep athletes, you know, in every position, and they were just sending waves, and we're like, I whispered to my assistant coach, uh, if we can keep it under 30, I think we'll do our jobs. Well, uh, the night comes, Saturday night, we play uh, Dallas Lincoln, and the kids just came to play, and I think that was the best game we've ever played and we were able to win nine or 12 points. I don't remember exactly, but it wasn't close or anything. Uh, but I mean, the whole uh, west side, east side, because where Fox Tech is explodes and tremendous feeling like we had done really something for that community. From two years before, the school had been disbanded and everybody go to two years later, we're in the parade and we're winning the state championship. I mean, it, it was uh, surreal. The Buffalo stampeded to a 36-3 overall record and beat Dallas Lincoln 68-59 to win the state title. Marquez's tech team revolved around five seniors, which included Robert Bell and Lenny Brown, both who went on to play college basketball. In 1998, Marquez moved to Northside ISD, where he was a school principal until retiring in 2017. Being selected to the is the Hall of Fame, Central Open School District Hall of Fame, is a great honor for me. Um, I gave my youth, not just as a student, but as a young employee at uh, SAISD, I hope I don't cry, but uh, 
There's been many people before me uh, that have been honored, great people, and I know a lot of them or have worked with a lot of them. David Vela from Burbank, I think three years ago was inducted. We grew up about five houses away from each other on Teresa Street. Uh, Finnis Dembo, I coached him freshman, sophomore year at Fox Tech High School, my first years I was there at Fox Tech. Vic Castillo, quarterback from Brack, uh, worked together. We worked the first eight years. My first job was with Vic and he was a great mentor to me. And you mentioned Gilbert Salinas. Uh, we went to high school together. Uh, obviously he went on to Notre Dame, did great things. He was the best man at my wedding. There's many people there that have been honored before and just for me to be mentioned with Tavi Nobis, uh McVeigh and those guys is a great honor. Um, I'm touched by being selected. In that group, um, it's just a great honor to be considered with those people. All I thought I was doing was doing my job when I was the basketball coach at uh, Fox Tech High School, and I was blessed to have great kids uh, that took us to new heights that we didn't even believe uh, we could do. But uh, at the time, like I said, I was just doing my job, doing the best that I could to be the best coach for them. And uh, never did I think that that would lead to this honor. Gerardo Marquez, a Burbank Bulldog and an honoree into the SAISD Athletic Hall of Fame.